term you may see in some research papers when they're describing the intervention is treatment fidelity. And treatment fidelity refers to whether every subject within the same experimental group got the exact same experience. So was the intervention carried out the exact same way? And the things that help foster treatment fidelity are things like protocol manuals or training for clinicians on the protocol. Some papers will even have a separate evaluation of the treatment fidelity where they look at some subset of the sessions and determine whether the clinicians followed the intervention faithfully. Another term you may hear is blinding. And this is the idea of hiding the identity of group assignment from someone. And we tend to think of double-blinded studies. Those are studies where the subject doesn't know what group they're in and the person providing the treatment doesn't know what group they're in. Um, it's also possible to blind the person who's measuring the outcome variables. So it may be that one person, one clinician or the investigator provides the treatment. Another person is the one who at the end of the study measures the success of the, out of the treatment. That person can be blinded. Um, the person who does the data analysis could be blinded. Right? So there's, there's multiple different people or roles who could be blinded to group assignment. Now in occupational therapy research, quite often it's hard to blind the subjects to their group assignment or the person providing treatment because you can't give someone a fake wheelchair. Uh, you can't pretend to give them yoga therapy. So the subjects know what group they're in. The person who's providing the treatment knows, but you can have one person provide the treatment and then another person who doesn't know what treatment everybody got measure the outcomes.